In this video, we're going to be proving that given, given, given any set A, the empty set, the set containing no elements, is a subset of A. That is to say that the empty set is a subset of A for all sets A. So we're going to prove this by contradiction, and this is an excellent opportunity to learn what proof by contradiction is. Or if you already know, just to have a little refresher or to see an example of a proof by contradiction. So to start off our proof by contradiction, we're going to suppose that this statement is false. Now to, to understand how we do that, suppose I made the claim every apple in the universe is green. And then I were to say, okay, well, suppose that statement is false. Well, if, if I were to suppose that that statement is false, that means that there exists at least one apple that is not green. That is to say, if I were to say every apple in the world is green, and then I would say, okay, what if that statement's false? Well, if that statement's false, that means that there must exist at least one apple in the world that's not green. So similarly, similarly here, given any set A, the empty set is a subset of that set A. So if this statement was false, that means that there exists some set, we'll call it U, some set U, such that the empty set is not a subset of that set U. Okay, so we're, so again, let me, let me write down that we're doing this by contradiction. That's important. So suppose, so suppose for contradiction, for contradiction that this statement that this statement is false that this statement is false okay so moving on so that there exists so if you were to suppose that this statement is false that that means that there exists some set u such that the empty set is not a subset of that set U. Well, what does this imply? What does it mean for a set to not be a subset of U? Well, if I have a set X, if I have a set X that is not a subset of a set Y, there exists at least one element in X that is not also in Y. Because if I were to say that an X is a subset of Y, that means that every element in X is also in Y. So if for a set, x to not be a subset of y, that means that there exists at least one element in x that is not also in y. So this implies, so if there exists some set u such that the empty set is not a subset of u, this implies that there exists, there exists an x in the empty set, and you might be seeing where I'm going with this, an x in the empty set such that x is not in u. But look at this. Look at this. This implies, well, not, not, not only does it imply, but, but the empty set, the empty set doesn't have any elements. It's empty. Doesn't have any elements. The empty set doesn't have any elements. Thus, there cannot possibly be, exist an x in the empty set such that x is not in u. Thus, if we were to suppose that this statement is false, if we were to suppose that this statement is false, then we would arrive at a contradiction. This is a contradiction. We, we, we said that there exists an x in the empty set, such that x is not in u. But this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. Thus, the statement must be true. Remember, a statement can either be true or false, not both. A statement can either be true or false. That's not a, that's not a, a trivial, uh, trivial statement in itself. <laughs> so, um, but given any set A, the empty set is a subset of that set A. So, if I were to suppose that this statement is false, then I arrive at a contradictory statement. I arrive at, it, it, namely, that there exists an X in the empty set. And this, this right here, is the contradiction. There cannot exist an x in the empty set such that x is not in u. There cannot exist an x in the empty set at all. So, we arrive at a contradiction when we suppose that this statement is false. 
Therefore, it must be true. Therefore, it must be true. Therefore, the empty set is a subset of A for all sets A.